When I say bananas, you say peppers. Did you need some Evian Brawlmeister facial refreshing spray? You guys, I've not been feeling good for a couple of days and now all of a sudden I have a burst of energy. And I felt like uh, treating myself to a boo bucket. You guys, I am honestly really hoping that they do boo buckets again this year with the little hat toppers. I feel like I didn't make boo bucket videos last year and I definitely should have, but you guys know what I mean? They used to have cookie cutter hats on the top. They didn't do that last year. I even took the handles off of mine but I use these all the time. Anyway, what I've been using this one for lately is holding my gash pond. So I reloaded our, I think there's actually six eggs in there today. And you guys, is this the tiniest gash pond egg I have ever unegged? I said I was gonna bring it in here. You know what, let me go get it because we're still working on a special project today. All right, you guys, here it is. My new Ita bag. I really wanted to find one that has a much larger Ita bag space. And I found this one on Etsy. You guys, I feel, don't you just wish you could make stuff sometimes? I wish I knew how to just make stuff. Cause I do love this one, but you guys imagine if you will, how cool would it be to have like an Ita bag where like the sides of it even had clear sections. You could just put stuff all over it. I'm definitely super excited to start actually pinning stuff down. It did come with a plain black backdrop, but I actually took this was an old tie-dye tote bag that I had sitting around in our closet. So I just cut it up and turned it into my back panel for my Vita bag. I'm very excited. I do already have a lot of stuff to put in it because I actually had another Vita bag that I was working on. The theme is weird core, but I want to incorporate a lot of my gash pond I've been opening lately, a lot of my more realistic miniatures. So I wanted to open some more gash pond and see if I could add anything else to my Ita bag. And you guys, as soon as I said that, I realized I never quite finished my other quest, but that's because I feel like I am now opening like remint makeup and everything for that. Do you guys remember I was trying to make a realistic miniature purse full of all super realistic mini items. But I guess I'm still like on that quest. I feel like I just haven't talked about that in a while, but I have not forgotten you guys. All right, this very well may be one of the tiniest gash pond eggs we have ever unshelled. And, oh yes, I think I see what this is gonna be. And you guys, how does this egg open? I see a hinge, oh, there it is. Look at that, that's like the tiniest, most incognito little tab I've ever seen. Oh my God, you guys. This is even more amazing than I thought it was gonna be. You guys know what is one of my life passions, Furbies, Tamagotchis, yes. I saw that there was Tamagotchi Gashpon, gach Gachapon, I'm never gonna say that correctly, but I really did not think that it was gonna be this many. I think that there is an Angel Gachi somewhere in this collection, which would be so fun to get. That was definitely one of, if not the Tamagotchi that I hatched the most when I was a child. I'm not sure which one this is supposed to be, but it is a fish. We hatched a fish Tamagotchi. So this is not playable or anything. It's just a miniature tiny gash pond keychain. Is the camera focusing? But look at all of our options. Oh my God, you guys, there's two um, devil gachi options that we could get. That is the rarest Tamagotchi that I own. And I think I've only played it once or twice because I'm so nervous that I'm gonna bust it. But yeah, this is so cute. Oh, there are, there's two angel gachis. 
Wow, there's lots and lots of options here, but oh my gosh, you guys, y'all have to let me know in the comments down below, which one do you think is cuter? The mini brands Tamagotchi we just got or this one? For me, it's honestly hard to pick. I definitely like the realism of this one and I also feel like it could double as not only a keychain, but a necklace or an earring, perhaps, if you're really going statement style. And you guys, I'm also on the quest right now for the dang series four wave two mini brands. I saw an unboxing video um, come up on YouTube the other day. Somebody had found them and there were minis in there that I did not even know was going to be a thing like some office supply things it looked like. I'm like oh my god I'm so excited for that you guys. But let's see what is in this orange egg. So right now I heard the only place you can get these series or wave two is in the four pack at Target. It has to have a certain serial number. Oh my God, you guys, this is gonna be some assembly required. But, oh my gosh, yes, I saw this on TikTok, I think. I think a lot of y'all tagged me in this. I'll just go ahead and show y'all what it is. So I think that this is from the brand Toys Spirits, which definitely has some of the most realistic Gashpon I've ever seen. And this is a little tiny water cooler that actually dispenses. Oh my God, yeah, okay, so here's the base and it has like a little water catching, a, a little drip panel. Then it comes with a tiny little cup which slides right in there. Yes, this stopper, oh, y'all can't see, hello. The stopper you actually have to pull up and down very gently and then it comes with actually like a, do y'all remember the Sparklets commercials? from the 90s. I used to love that, like where the dog was drinking the water. That always looks so refreshing to me. So you can actually put water into this tiny little thing. How does it dispense? How does it hook up on there? <gasps> Y'all, I know that this is supposed to work. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit tricky at first, but yeah, you can actually put water in here using a teeny tiny little funnel. So I'm just gonna go to the sink really quick and load up our little thing so y'all can see me dispense. Little teeny tiny water for an ant, perhaps. I'll be right back with a fresh cooler. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, first of all, does it drip? Does it leak? It kind of seems like somehow not. I barely could turn on the faucet before I had to turn it off again. This is literally water for ants. All right, you guys, let's see if we can lift it up. Oh no, ah, okay. I feel like it's really, you have to be like really gentle with it. Maybe you turn it? Do you turn it? I did turn it, but nothing happened. Maybe you just put water in it, you guys. I'm trying to not break it. Okay, pushing it down. This is wild. <gasps> That's not what you do. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe it doesn't actually dispense. I don't know. Ah! Okay, I keep nearly breaking it, but the thing does like slide back in there. Okay, maybe, maybe I am falling for like, there's food inside of the mini brands. Okay, no, it does say step three, step four, step five. Okay, maybe there's something you have to do with this little button on the top. I'm trying to read the instructions, but I'm trying to not use Google Translate. Ow! Oh! Oh my God. Oh, that's what happens, you guys. This little stopper, which has now rolled away and it's basically microscopic. I guess that's like pressurizing the container or something. So watch carefully. There we go. <gasps> now, is there a way to just shut this off? And now maybe it won't drip. There we go. Cheers to you, banana peppers. Okay, maybe there is a way. Oh, okay. All right. I think I've Figured it out now, you guys. You have to take the stopper off and then you can twist and there we go. It actually starts to dispense and you can shut it on and off. That is very, very, very cute. Once again, I feel like that would fit right in with 
I feel like I said this again recently, like doll houses and like miniatures, like whole miniature dioramas, not even necessarily doll houses. Although I do see a lot of people doing doll houses now. I feel like this would work really well with like mini brands, doll houses, people setting up miniature offices, which I've never seen, but that would be super fun. All right, you guys, what's next is this one in a small milky looking Egg. I kind of like these like semi clear ones. This one doesn't have tape or anything. So we just go, bam. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. I thought that these were so cute. Look at this, you guys. They're going to be crosswalk buttons, but with faces and arms and legs. One has a jack-o-lantern. So let's see. Oh yes. Okay. This is the one that I actually really wanted. Oh my God. Okay. He doesn't make a sound, but you can really push his little nose. I just liked the one where his arms and legs were like normal. You'd think I'd want the jack-o-lantern one the most. And that one is really cute, but I just like this little guy. I'm not sure if he is any particular character or anything. I just did see him on Amazon Japan. This is chocolate brand. So yeah, I'm not sure if he's like a character or anything, but oh my God, he is so adorable. I love this one. All right, you guys, what's next is this one. A red egg. Ooh, cooking popcorn mascot. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, I told y'all a while back that I got two different types of popcorn. Oh my God, two different types of popcorn gashbon. And look, look at how many of these are wrapped like this now. I think we've seen like two or three. They're no longer in this like fold over packaging as much anymore. And instead they're like this. Oh my God. Is it Jiffy Pop that's like this here in the States where it's like the metal kind of or foil thing and you pop it over the stove. But hopefully y'all can see the little popcorns in there. It looks like some of them are already popped popcorns and some of them are still in a kernel state. But you guys, y'all have to listen to this. Santa's here. It does kind of have that jingle bell kind of quality. And it has this kind of paper handle that's part of the wrapper as well. I could peel this off and it would be like an all aluminum looking handle. But I think I'm gonna leave it like this. So this was a whole series and there are lots of other colorways of this. I kind of think I do like red the most. I feel like I said that with the other popcorn gash pond. I don't know why I associate red as like the color that goes with popcorn the best. Let me know if y'all have stuff that's like that as well. But I definitely feel like this will be good for my Eta bag. I like the things that have a little bit of a noisy element to it as well. All right, you guys, yellow and clear gash pond egg. Let's see, can we? No, it's not gonna. Oh my God, that, did I crack it? Ooh, okay, look, it's more packaging like this. How wild and crazy is that? It's chicken nuggets gash pond and ooh, that feels like so nice. I wish you guys could feel the saucy texture. So that is the theme of this set is chicken nuggets and condiments. So it looks like this time we got ketchup sauce. It says open. Do I dare? Oh my God, you guys, how many times could I do this without ruining the whole thing? But look at this. It does say open because I was like, it feels like there's something in there. And you guys, you can very gently peel it back and <gasps> there's ketchup in there. It's not squishy. I don't know why I thought it would be squishy. Ooh, but hopefully the camera is cooperating. It does have like a glaze to it. Like I can see the bottom of the, the packet here, the little container. So that's so cool. To me, that makes it like even more realistic. But yeah, this is so, so cute. I do love the many food things. One of my favorite ones to get recently was the other chicken options. The 
drumstick and the rotisserie chicken. Oh my god, I love that one so much. So yeah, this is also from Toys Spirits brand as well, I believe. So once again, yeah, Toys Spirits. So y'all can see just based on the little water cooler and the chicken nuggets, I feel like they have really, really detailed ones. I wish the water cooler was somehow a keychain. Although then I feel like it couldn't be functional because that would maybe be like a mess to just carry around something full of water. All right, you guys, one last egg for the day. Let's find out. Does this have tape? I was gonna try and pop it again. Oh, oh yeah. Why, why did I like these? I don't know, but I did. It's an ashtray. <laughs> Like, why did I think that this was cute? I literally have no idea. Once again, I feel like I just thought that it looked super, super realistic. And I feel like it kind of reminds me of like a super retro type of hotel. And I feel like it also could look like some other kind of, I was gonna say like some other kind of container, but what kind of container would that be? You guys, I'm gonna use Google Translate and see if it'll tell me what the name, it says it's got a butterfly and I'm trying to see, Google Translate, give me the answer. Oh, okay, sun, S-O-L-E, I L. I feel like that is French for sun. So sun bar with a little butterfly. I know that this is like super random, super random that this is the last one, but doesn't this like kind of give you like a retro kind of feel to it? I don't know you guys. There was just something about these I liked. Anyway, that is it today for all of the gash bun. I feel like I have several things now that I can pile up in my weird core eat to bag, but y'all let me know as usual, which one was your favorite today? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. 